So here are the steps involved in solving uh, simultaneous linear equations. First step is you write both equations in the form ax plus by equals k and then you label them as equation 1 and equation 2. Now what this means here, we're going to have no decimals or fractions. Then what we do is we multiply one or both of the equations by a number in order to make the coefficients of x or y the same but of opposite signs. What the coefficients in this case means is the number in front of x or the number in front of y. So that's what we mean by coefficients. That's the number in front of x or the number in front of y in this case. For an example, if we have a look at this, uh, 3x plus 2y, say, equals 11. Now, you notice that there's no fractions in there. That's what we mean by writing in the form ax plus by plus c. And if we had another one here like 5x plus 3y equals 17, say. Now, what we're going to try and do is make the number in front of y here and the number in front of y here the same value but of opposite signs. In other words, what I do here is I multiply the top equation by 3 and the bottom one by, two, by minus 2 and we'll have a plus 6y and a minus 6y. We'll have a look at that as we go through it. Now, what we then do is we add, one, add the equations and the, the y's will go or the x's will go. It depends on which one you pick. And then you're left with one. Step four is you just have a simple equation to solve, like 5x equals 10, or you could have 3y equals 12, or something like that. And what you do then is you substitute your answer from step four back into the original equation to find the value of x or y, depending on which one you worked out. Anyway, the best way to do this is have a look at some examples. So let's have a look at the very first one. Now, example number one. Solve the simultaneous equations. 5x plus y is equal to 7, and 2x plus 3y equals minus 5. Now, what do we mean by solve the equations? Solve means find the value of x, in this case here, find the value of x and find the value of y, that when we put them into this equation here, the left-hand side here, that's the left-hand side, will balance with the right-hand side. Also, the same numbers, when we put in for x and y, will make the left-hand side of this equation balance with the right-hand side. So what we're trying to do is find the value of x and the value of y that makes the left-hand side of this equation balance with the right-hand side of this, of the uh, right-hand side, and the left-hand side of this equation also and balances with the right-hand side. That's what we mean simultaneously. It happens on both equations. So what we do is, let's take our first couple of steps here. Now, if you look at the equations, there's no fractions or decimals, so they're already in the form something x plus something y equals a number. Now, what I do is I label the equations 1 and 2. Some people label them L and K. It makes no difference just to distinguish the two equations. So 5x plus y is equal to 7. We'll label the equation 1. And 2x plus 3y equals minus 5. We'll label equation 2. Now, what I'm going to do is... The number in front of y here is 1, even though it's not written there, and the number in front of y here is plus 3. So I have a plus 1 here and a plus 3 there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply every part on top of the first equation by 3. So 3 times 5x is 15x, 3 times y is 3y, and 3 times 7 is 21. Each part of equation number 1 has been multiplied by 3. Now what I'm going to do to the bottom line is multiply each part by minus 1. 2x multiplied by minus 1 is minus 2x. 3y multiplied by minus 1 is minus 3y. And minus 5 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 5. Every part is multiplied by minus 1. Now what you'll see here is the plus 3y and the minus 3y, so they have the same number in front of y, but of opposite signs. So when we add them, 3y plus 3y is 0. Now we have 15x minus 2x, which is 13x, and 21 and 5 is 26. So we have 13x is equal to 26. Divide the left-hand side by 13 and you get x, and divide the right-hand side by 13 and you get 2. We've added the equations. Now basically we have is x is equal to 2. Now be very careful and don't stop now because the question said solve for x and y. 
we now have the value of x. So what you do is, you put x equal to 2 into equation 1 or equation 2, and it makes no difference, you can decide. In this, for this question here, I picked equation number 1, which was 5x plus y is equal to 7, that was equation 1. What I do then is, I take out the x, put a little arrow here, and I replace the x with 2 from up here. So, 5x plus y is equal to 7, take out the x and replace it with 2. So 5 times 2 plus y is equal to 7. 5 twos are 10 plus y is equal to 7. So y is equal to 7 minus 10, which is minus 3. So the numbers that work to make those two equations balance are x equals 2 and y equals minus 3.